a seedy neighborhood known for drugs and prostitutes. That baby, just five weeks old, grandma old enough to know better. So what she's saying from the Sacramento County Jail, Kimberly Rankin, she's got to know that people are appalled. Yeah, well, Kit Samuel doesn't think she did anything wrong. In fact, she says she's appalled by the overreaction of deputies that landed her in jail and her grandson in protective care. Right now, I'm pleading not guilty because I don't feel like I, I really endangered him. I love my grandkids. Samuel admits to leaving five month old Tynan next to Watt Avenue. She admits to being evicted from Motel 6, but even from behind bars, she's defending her actions. I dropped him off and just walked back across the street to get my stuff right there on the sidewalk. I didn't leave him and go back to the room or nothing. Deputies say leaving a baby alone for a minute is dangerous, but alone on the side of a road in a dangerous neighborhood adds another threat. Uh, this is a corridor. It has been for some time for prostitution and narcotics. Uh, the motel is no stranger to us as far as that kind of business goes. Deputies found the baby laying on top of an open bottle of brandy. They say Samuel was intoxicated at the time of her arrest. All facts she denies. Were you drinking that day? No, I wasn't. I drank the night before. Kit Samuel's son, Samuel, and his girlfriend, Tierra Flannel, left the baby Tyron at around 10 30 Friday morning. They arrived home just before 4 o'clock. We spoke exclusively with them yesterday as they realized their baby was gone. The baby was left and so it was taken by the police. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Samuel just prays her son gets the baby back soon. She says this was all a big misunderstanding, but if anyone is to blame, it's certainly not her son. Samuel says her first court appearance will be this Tuesday. Now, before the baby is returned, its parents will have to go before a court as well and prove that they can be more responsible.